to that, our arrows were able to land where we wanted them to. That's right. Cornering the prey is the important work of a hunter, too. Dola agreed with Ryo's opinion, but Shing remained sullen, picking his target for a risky walking down the mountain alone. Please, he's hopeless. Sorry, Ryo. I'll talk to him later, so just think of He's not here! Don't let it bother you. Sweep the area near the canal again. Can we be certain he's here? It's a direct order from Master Shadowlord himself. We're to take extra precautions, so keep it to yourself and resume your search before I. Yes, sir! I reckon you'd be fine hunting on your own from tomorrow onward. I have to look after the juniors, so if you could hunt enough to cover my share, that would be great. Do you think you can manage that? Dola scratched his head with a guilty look, shaking his head as he spoke. Sure. Leave it to me. Leave How are the security to fortifications in the agricultural mm -hmm. district and the I'm main gates? They're in place, sir. Let's get back Good. To the get Not to a single rat through. gets through. Understood? So yes, sir. Rio took some of the meat and headed back home. I'm back. He said into the house. Rio decided to first get rid of the stench of wild animals that clung to him. There was no bathroom inside the house, so he took the bath bucket in the kitchen and went outside. He went around the back of the house and placed the bucket on the ground, then raised the ground that surrounded him with spirit arse to create more to enclose the space. Then, he used spirit arse to fill the bathing bucket with water. After that, he equipped the time space cache. Any sign of him? Nothing, sir. We've already searched the entire area. What's this building? It's just an old inn. It was closed about a year ago. We searched it and didn't find anyone. All right. Move out and continue the search. Yes, sir! They were made by the spirit folks. Rio grabbed the bottles in both hands, took off his clothes, and climbed into the bath bucket. Then... He used his spirit arts to freely control the water and clean his hair and body with the soap. It'd be much more convenient to have some kind of bathroom, even an outdoor one. I'll ask Yuba if I can build one later. We can even lend it to the other villagers to use. After he had washed his hair and body, he went about washing the clothes he had been wearing that day. Several minutes later, Rio changed into spare clothes and returned the raised earth wall around him back to the ground. Then, he spotted Rio and Sayo standing a fair distance away. Oh, so it was Rio after all, Ruri let out a sigh of relief. A strange structure had been constructed behind her house while she was out, so it was only natural for her to be suspicious. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, Rio apologized with an apologetic expression. No, that's fine. Didn't you move the ground with your spirit house just now? Ruri asked curiously. Yes, that's right. Him. I'm not good at Earth Spirit Art, so I don't really understand. But is it something you can manipulate as easily? Ruri didn't seem to accept Rio's smooth answer, so she turned to her and said, I, I don't know. I'm not good at Earth Spirit Art either. But compared to what I can do, it doesn't seem like something simple. Sia offered her own opinion uncertainly. Well, it's not the time to practice a 